So, one of the ways in which I've been dealing with this period of social isolation is by doing gardening. And it brings me so much life because it reminds me of the story in Genesis where God, he speaks into the world, into a void and shapeless world and calls into existence life. Every tree, every shrub, every plant, every beast that roams the fields and even the birds that flock the skies. He speaks this into existence, but even though he does that, he does not stop there. He continues on to step down and kneel into the soil, put his hands in the soil, and form humans from the very palm of his hands. He shapes them and he crafts them in a very intimate way into his own image. And then when he's done, he steps back, he looks at it and says, wow, this is very good. This is my work and it's beautiful and I take pride in it. That's how much God loves us. That he was willing to step intimately into the soil and to make us with his own hands. And I want to tell you that you two were made and formed in his image. Very intimately, he wove the DNA into your mother's womb to make you who you are today. Because he loves us. The Bible says, for we are fearfully and wonderfully made. It also says that I knew you from before you were in the womb. I formed you in your mother's womb. And because he formed us, he loves us. He loves us so much that there is nothing that we can ever do to separate us from his love. There's nothing we can ever do to make him stop loving us. You see, the enemy, he came in and he sowed lies, deceit dishonesty, jealousness, covetousness, fear, anxiety, depression, discouragement, all these things which we wrestle with each and every day, which make us feel like we aren't worth it. But every day, God is removing these weeds from our lives and ensuring that we know that he loves us, that he cares for us, that he died for us, and that he's coming again. Because he loves us, we have no need to fear. We have no reason to fear because he loves us and there's nothing we can do to change that. Remember during this time that you're special. God loves you and he gave his life for you. May you be blessed, may you stay safe during this time. God bless.